know the Goose Club. Look at this towel my friends and I spent the day making. We made this town and this car out of a few cardboard boxes. Let's take a drive and see who's at around town. Stop! Oh, who are you? I'm a police officer. A police officer? What does a police officer do? A police officer helps keep people safe and make sure that everyone is following the rules. Sometimes they direct traffic, like I'm doing right now. What a cool job. I think so too. The way's clear now. Come on through. Thank you. Bye. What a nice police officer. Oh, what's going on here? I'm just getting my fire truck ready for the day. What is your job? I'm a firefighter. A firefighter? What does a firefighter do? A firefighter puts out fires in homes, buildings, and even forests. I rescue people that are in danger, and I keep my town safe. Wow, that sounds like a very important job. Well, it's very important that I keep everybody safe. And remember, only call 911 when there's a real emergency. Will do. Goodbye. Wow, what a nice firefighter. Let's see who else we can meet in town. Oh look, that person is delivering a package to my house. That's right, I have a package for you. Oh, thank you. Is this your job? That's right, I'm a mail carrier. A mail carrier? What does a mail carrier do? A mail carrier delivers packages and mail. They also pick up packages and letters that people want to send to each other. You must be very busy. That's right, there's so many things to deliver. Here you go. Now if you'll excuse me, I have another package to deliver. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow, what a busy day in our cardboard town. We met so many people. The police officer, the firefighter, and the mail carrier. Oh, after this package is open, we can add this to our town. Bye, Mother Goose Club! A is for astronaut. Asteroid, do you want an apple? Ooh, an apple. I love apples. A is for apple. A, a, apple. A is for apple. A, a, apple. A, a, apple. Yum! I have got to go, but you should visit me sometime. Here is my address. A is for address. A, a, address. Awesome, Asteroid. Thanks for your address. A, a, address. I will visit you at this address. Bye, Astronaut. Bye, Asteroid. A is for Astronaut. A, a, Astronaut. A, a. Hi, Mother Goose Club. My cousin Lucas and I are going on a trip to New York City. We're taking an airplane. That's right, Ethan, and we're gonna take a helicopter tour while we're there. We made up a rhyme about it. Would you like to hear it? Great! Airplanes and helicopters in the sky. Airplanes and helicopters fly, fly, fly. Airplanes and helicopters up so high. Airplanes and helicopters fly, fly, fly. Airplanes have wings, they glide through the air. They take you on vacation, I wanna go there. Zooming through the clouds, we're going very fast. We fasten our seatbelts, we're having a blast. Airplanes and helicopters. Airplanes and helicopters in the sky. Airplanes and helicopters.
helicopters fly, fly, fly. Airplanes and helicopters up so high. Airplanes and helicopters fly, fly, fly. Have you ever flown on an airplane? Where did you go? Let us know. We would love to hear about your trip. See you next time. Our plane's about to board. Let's go. We could build houses around it. Oh, hi Mother Goose Club. My name is Gianna. Duncan, Ethan, and I are playing with our construction trucks. How about we sing a song about our construction trucks? That sounds like a great idea. Construction trucks, big and strong. Construction trucks, sing this song. Construction trucks, big and strong. Construction trucks, sing this song. Dump truck on the road. Dump truck, dump that load. Dump truck, dump, dump, dump. Dump truck, dump, dump, dump. Construction trucks, big and strong. Construction trucks, sing this song. Construction trucks, big and strong. Construction trucks, sing this song. Excavator on the pile. Excavator, dig a wall. Excavator, dig, dig, dig. Excavator, dig, dig, dig. Construction trucks, big and strong. Construction trucks, sing this song. Construction trucks, big and strong. Construction trucks, sing this song. Bulldozer on the land. Bulldozer, push that sand. Bulldozer, push, push, push. Bulldozer, push, push, push. Construction trucks. construction truck was the excavator. I love the way it digs rocks and sand. My favorite was the bulldozer. What's your favorite construction truck? That's awesome! Thanks for watching! Bye, Bye Mother Goose Club! Whoa. Hi, Mother Goose Club. My name is Adam, and I am the host of the Playhouse Challenge. Today, Gianna, Darby, and I will be doing an experiment. We're going to mix different colors of paint together. And try to figure out which new color we'll make. Yes, we have red paint, yellow paint, white paint, blue paint, green paint, and black paint. Let's get mixing! All right, what color do you think we will make when we mix red and blue? I think it's going to make brown. Mm, I think it's going to make <gasps> purple. Let's mix them together and find out. It's purple. You get a point, Darby. Yay! Good job. Next up, let's see what color we make when we mix green and blue. Definitely green. Mm, definitely blue. Alrighty, let's find out. Bluish green? Greenish blue? You both get a point this round. Yes! Good job. Our next mixture is black and white. What color do you think we will make when we mix these two colors? Uh, I think we'll make gray. Yeah, I think we'll make gray too. Well, let's find out. A little white, a little black. Oh, 
Oh, it's gray. You both get a point. Yay! Yay! So excited. Nicely done. All right, our next mixture is yellow and blue. What color do you think we will make when we mix yellow and blue? I think we'll make orange. I think we'll make green. Well, let's find out. It's green. Good job, Darby. Thank job. you. You Yay. get a point. Sorry, Gianna, no points for you. All right, for our next and last mixture, we'll see what color we make when we mix red and green. Hmm, I think we'll make brown. Mm, I think we'll make <gasps> pink. Well, let's find out. Some red, some green, It is brown. Hey! You get a point, Gianna. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you. All right, let's see who guessed correctly the most times. Darby, you have four points. And Gianna, you have three points. That means Darby is our grand prize winner. Yay! And you receive a big box of colored crayons. <laughs> Good job, Darby. Thank you. Tune in next time for the next Mother Goose Club Playhouse Challenge. Bye-bye! Hello, Mother Goose Club. Today, we're trying a new playhouse challenge called Make Me Laugh. Kendra and I will take turns trying to make each other laugh. Whoever makes the other one laugh first gets a point on our scoreboard. If it looks like a tie, I'll call it. Let's play. Ready? Close your eyes and on the count of three, open them and try to make your partner laugh. One, two, three. <laughs> Elizabeth made Kendra laugh first. One point for Elizabeth. Ready? Close your eyes. One, two, three. <laughs> it looks like Kendra made Elizabeth laugh first. One point for Kendra. Ready? Close your eyes. One, two, three. <laughs> that looks like a tie. One point for both of them. And the winner is both of them. <laughs> Good, challenge. Good challenge. I laughed a bunch. Me too. For more nursery rhymes, songs, skits, and challenges, keep watching Mother Goose Club Playhouse. Bye! Hello, Mother Goose Club. My name is Gianna. Today on Playhouse Challenge, we're going to do a new challenge called the Taste Test. Our contestants today are Chamberlain and Calvin. Hi! We're going to blindfold ourselves and taste test different mystery foods. Then we're going to try to guess what each food was. After we taste test a mystery food, we'll give a point to the person who guesses correctly. Ready? Let's begin. Here's our first food. The first mystery food is celery. How does that food feel in your hand? It feels really ruggedy. It feels hard with ridges. How does it smell? Like grass. Oh, like cat food. What color do you think it is? I think it's green. Orange? What does it taste like? Like leaves off a tree. Like seawater. What food do you think you just ate, Calvin? Sardines. And Chamberlain? I think it's celery. 
Let's move on to our next food. The next food is cabbage. How does this food feel in your hand? A brain! Feels like wet crumpled paper. How does it smell? Like the ocean. It smells like water. What color do you think it is? Turquoise. Blue. How does it taste? Like paint. Tastes like water. Chamberlain, what food do you think you just ate? Broccoli pizza. Calvin? Cabbage. Let's move on to our third mystery food. Here's our third food. Third food is raw potatoes. There you go. There you go. How does that food feel in your hand? Like a weight. Feels gritty. How does it smell? <laughs> like a fresh garden salad. It smells like dirt. What color do you think it is? Purple. Brown. Definitely brown. How does it taste? Like deodorant. Still dirt. Chamberlain, what food do you think you just ate? Wood. Calvin? An undercooked potato. Here's our last food. The last food is green beans. How does this food feel in your hand? Like a violin string. A soggy crayon. How does it smell? Mmm, delicious. Smells woody. What color do you think it is? Green. Red. How does it taste? Mmm, excellent. Tastes sweet. Calvin. What food do you think you just ate? A vegetable. Can you be specific, please? Rutabaga. And Chamberlain? Green beans, definitely. Okay, please remove your blindfolds and let's see who guessed correctly. The first food was celery, which means Chamberlain guessed correctly. The second food was cabbage, which means Calvin guessed correctly. The third food was raw potatoes, which means Calvin guessed correctly again. And the last food was green beans, which means Chamberlain guessed correctly. That means it's a tie game. Good job, guys. I tasted so many delicious foods today. My favorite was cabbage. My favorite was green beans. Thanks for playing with us today. We'll see you next time on Playhouse Challenge. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.